Hey, it's uh, Jerry. Uh, you know, I like to play ping pong, but I'm not very good at it. So I want to improve my game, and I don't have anybody to play with or practice with. So I figured I'd pick up a ping pong machine. It's an iPong robot. And uh, it's that little funny looking thing at the end of the table. And what that does is it holds about 50 balls and it pitches them. Um, top spin, under spin, and oscillation. Unfortunately, no side spin. This is a, kind of an entry level robot pitching machine. I figured I'd try it out and see if it helps me. And maybe, maybe I can upgrade it to a better quality robot. This one. It, it kind of throws a ball out there, but it's inconsistent. Not every ball goes in the same place. Sometimes it'll hit the net, sometimes it'll go off the table, sometimes it'll just do funny things. But I'm starting to realize that that's not a bad thing because when you're playing uh, ping pong against somebody, you know, every, every shot is different. So with this machine, every shot is a little bit different. So sometimes you slice it back, sometimes you top spin it back. And I'm just kind of trying to ad lib whatever it throws at you, kind of like in a, a regular ping pong match. So it's, it's kind of fun. I'm getting used to it. And I just thought I'd kind of show you. Okay, here's a little bit better shot of the iPong V300 ping pong robot. And uh, you, you load the balls up in this hopper. It holds about 50 or so balls, and the balls come out of there. There's a couple wheels that spin the ball and throw it out. Uh, one of the problems that I had with it was in the collection net here there's a hole in the bottom right there and there's a bucket there's a bucket underneath there and uh, the balls weren't rolling into the bucket so I had to um, I had to put some weights down in the area underneath the bucket the hole so that the balls would go in the bucket. If I didn't put the weights there, and let me show you where the weights are. They're down here. See those? Those are the weights right there. I just paper. I, I just took um, the paper. I um, I used those safety pins and I clipped some tire weights on the bottom of the collection net so that it would it would weight it down. And now all the balls go into the bucket. Really nice. I mean, just look at this. How they roll into the bucket without those weights. Without those weights, they're all going to get, they're all going to have a big old log jam right there, and they're not going to roll. So if you get one of these things, put some weights on it, it'll help you a lot. Now the, the machine comes with a, um, a handheld remote, and uh, I'm not sure if it's going to, yeah, there you go. And so you can adjust the frequency, the oscillation back and forth, the top spin and the back spin. So those are the adjustments, and then it's got a memory button on there that you can um, you can store, you know, your favorite setting. So that's kind of the way that's set up. Um, so when you're playing, you can actually adjust the speed and the frequency oscillation or spin while you're playing just to change up things. And you can kind of see how she works here.
All right, well, that's about it for the Ipong V300 robot pitching machine. As you can tell, um, it's inconsistent. A lot of the balls hit the net, some of the balls went off the table, but then it's no more inconsistent than I am. So I need to get my consistency better, I need to improve, and um, hopefully the ping pong machine will improve with me. So that's about it. Have fun. Hit the ball.